Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Naruto Battle Climax. Uh, today we're going to be going over a short tutorial video on how to set up your uh, joystick controller as the keyboard. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, you will need a working keyboard in order to set this up to begin with. So, first, what we're going to want to do is we're going to scroll past all this to the options menu. Then, we're going to want to come down into input configuration. You can press enter or F1. Then, we want to make sure that joystick is enabled. Then we come down to joystick configuration. You can press enter or, uh, enter or W. For this part, uh, we want to go to configure all. You can press F1 or enter. I'm going to press F3, as you can see down here, to set everything to default. Now, as you can see, it's all A1, A2, A3. I did that just to show you um, that, like, just to show you visually that I can set up the controller how I want. So now I'm going to press F1, and now it's in the mode where I can set up the buttons how I want. So up is going to be up, down is going to be down, and you can see that it's changing on the actual screen. So you want to make sure that you, you, you uh, switch to the controller you want to use. Left is going to be left, right is going to be right. Now the reason I do this part this way is because all my life I've owned Playstations. I've only owned Playstations. So I found the um, configuration that I prefer most. But you can set this part up however you want. My A is square, my B is triangle, my C is circle, my X is X, my Y and Z are the trigger buttons, and my start is the start button. Then once you're finished with that, you go to exit, and then we come over here to return to options, go down to load slash save, and if you click on the like right button, and then press enter, your option should be saved. Then we go over to escape, and you can see now that I can use the joypad, so X is now you know, X just like the standard PlayStation controller. Just to make sure, I'm going to use someone that I just used in arcade mode, even though the video isn't up yet. And I'm going to see if the buttons work the way I want them to. Okay, so I'm in training mode, and I'm going to use someone that I just uh, finished using in arcade mode. Um, even though the video isn't up just yet, I'm going to check to make sure that all the moves are the way I want them. Okay, so if all the moves are the way I want them, then down and square should make a tree pop up that will catch Naruto. Okay, that works. Down and triangle should make uh, uh, like branches sprout up from Yamato and shoot out forward. Perfect. Okay. And what was the other one? Ah, yes. Uh, down and circle. Down and circle on my controller. Now remember, you can set this up however you like. Uh, down and circle should be um, like a... I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like the Buddha statue that comes up and smacks its hand down. Hang on. And yeah, there it is. I missed though. It'll do three smacks if you actually connect with it, but it's difficult to connect with. You have to hit it perfect. Uh, and there's actually a name for that, but I don't know the name of it. And um, let's see, down and down back and square should be a shield, which is what I should have used against a certain character in arcade mode. That should be the shield, yep. Uh, down forward and square should be, I think it's a kunai with a bomb on it. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's try. And I. Oh, did I say? Did I say? I meant triangle. Down, down, forward triangle. Kunai with bomb. Down, back triangle. Shield. Oh, sorry. That was just down. You have to press it really well. Okay. Down, back. Down, back triangle. Got it. Shield. Okay. Now uh, let's see. What was the one I was trying to do? Um, yeah, I want to go through the square buttons. Um, down back square is wood clone. Hang on. There we go. Uh, down forward square should be. It's like Rossingon, but it's like a water bomb. There we go. Charging it up and water bomb. 
It's like Ross and Gone. It might as well. Maybe it is. No, it couldn't be. Uh, and then, um, let's see, I already did regular square, didn't I? Yeah, I already did regular square. So, um, that should be all the controller set up. All the little stuff. And of course, my X does nothing. I just prefer it that way. And remember, you can set this up however you want. It'll work with your standard um, uh, wireless battery remote based on the PlayStation controllers or an Xbox One uh, remote wireless or wired with USB. Uh, anything that'll take like a USB that'll plug into your computer. So I hope this uh, video answered any questions that you might have. Uh, you will need a working keyboard in order to set this up to begin with. And uh, to the person that actually answered the uh, asked the question to begin with, I took a look at your channel and um, the titles of your videos are in a language I can't actually understand. So you might have an issue uh, with compatibility uh, with your keyboard versus the game. So I'm not sure if there's a keyboard other than an English type keyboard that can actually work. Uh, because one of the messages you sent me was that you didn't have those buttons on your keyboard. Uh, and these are all the standard uh, American buttons, which is the only thing I know to go by. So if you can actually find uh, the directional pad buttons on your keyboard or the F1 button, you'll be able to set up a standard um, Xbox remote if, uh, if you have one where you live. So I hope this answered any questions that you might have. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any other questions that I might be able to answer. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.